driven by jealousy and insecurity, Mtsebi Sindama brutally murdered his fiancé in 2007. He then tried to take his own life. Ndama spent seven years in prison for the murder. I regret and I'm remorseful. That, that is why I, I wrote the book My True Confessions. In it, I'm just explaining my mistakes and, and how I'm sorry for what I did. Men should, should learn to respect women, to give them freedom to live their lives the way they want to, not to dictate that do this or don't do that. Government and NGOs have joined hands in the fight. In the province, every Friday, we'll actually set aside an hour in our workplaces, departments, municipalities, where we make this demonstration to, to indicate that we are against this uh, problem of uh, we, women abuse, this femicide and uh, gender-based violence. We are going to deal with this scourge, we are going to confront it. What is, what is important for us at the moment is for us to listen to men, because most of the time, when the, such programs are rolled out, there are people who talk on the podium and tell men how they should act and how they should be. Our approach is to say we are engaging men so that they can talk about their problems and bring solutions. According to recent crime statistics, the number of women murdered rose from 481 in 2017 to 507 in 2019. I am Lubabalo Tata for SABC News in Bishop.